Bring both of your knees into your chest, place your right hand on your right knee, your left hand on your left knee, and then start to circle your legs apart into opposite directions. Let that be a very unguided, loose movement. Feel how it affects your whole body, how it ripples along your spine, makes your head knot, makes your pelvis rock back and forth. And then go the other way around as if you're stirring up your inner hip joint with your thigh bones. Do one or two more circles and then come back to neutral. Step your left foot back down, cross your right ankle over your left knee, press that right knee away from you to come into an external rotation through your right hip joint and then reach around your left leg with both of your hands. Pull that left knee gently in closer without losing the extension along the right side of your body, without losing the rotation in your right knee. With an inhale, start to lift that left leg. Now up towards the sky, strain it, flex your foot at the very top and pull those left toes actively towards your left shin. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Rebend your left knee. Step that left foot all the way back down towards the floor. Open your arms into a T. Listen up. Keep your legs in a figure four, but let your legs drop over to the left side. So my right foot stems down towards the floor and my left outside knee grounds as well. You can just stay here or to intensify. Feel free to push that left knee a little more against that right ankle to bring everything a little higher. <sighs> and then just simmer here for a moment, still heavily grounded through that right shoulder plate. Play with the position of your left knee in space. Would it feel nicer to gently press it up? Would it feel nicer to pull it in? Or is it just perfect there where it is? Infuse a deep breath into that right outside hip. Exhale out, creating that even breath where the inhale is as long as the exhale and vice versa. Beautiful, untangle your legs at the bottom. Come back onto your sacrum, let's switch sides. Cross left ankle over your right knee, reach around your right thigh. Pulling the right knee gently in, but then knowing that it's more about that left hip joint. So having the left knee still pressed away and the gap between your left hip and your left ribs is the same as on the right side. It's way more important than having the right knee coming in close. Be aware of that and adjust accordingly. Then straighten your right leg. Flex that right foot at the top, pull your toes in, feel how your right heel and Achilles are getting a little TLC here as well. And then reset, bend your right knee again, step that right foot down. Keep your legs as they are, but let them drop over to the right side. Oh, I love this one. And then from here, feel into it. Can you maybe go deeper, sliding your knee and your ankle higher up? Stay grounded through that left shoulder plate and then again play with that left knee. That hip might need a different sort of treat. Deliver. And that's really what it is. Let this practice be something that delivers for you rather than you adjusting to your practice. Can you turn the practice in some into something that really feels nourishing and healing? Wonderful. Then release, untangle your legs again. Bring both of your knees into your chest just once more and then rock your way up. Come on your hands and your knees. Spin those legs around. Spread your fingers wide. Have those shoulders placed on top of the wrist. Have the knees placed underneath your hips. Find length in your spine. Activate your core. Lengthen through the tailbone. Draw your belly button in. And then from here, lift that right knee out behind you and your left arm out in front of you. Take a breath in. With an exhale out, bring knee and elbow towards, a, towards another and start to tiger curl, round cat stretch. Inhale to lengthen, to open. Exhale once again, bring knee and elbow together and underneath your belly button. Inhale to extend. Keep that core locked in. Open that right leg open to the side. Step right foot down in alignment with your left knee. Sweep that left arm up, 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 up. And then scoop that left arm underneath your right armpit back over towards the right side. Settle down with your left shoulder plate, with the left side of your face. Try to have your left foot still in alignment with your left knee. If this feels good and comfortable for you, walk that right hand further out in front of you. And with that, it's almost like you open a portal to the side and you can twirl and roll and spiral into it. Right shoulder goes more and more on top of your left shoulder. Just be here for one more breath. Exhale out, see if you can lean and compress even more. Wonderful, then bring your right hand back beside your face. Free that left hand, place it back underneath your left shoulder. Lift that right leg up, circle it all the way around and place it on the outside off your left knee. Push your feet apart and then push your hips between your heels to the back of the yoga mat. And here we are once again, 
to floss those hips. This is how it should feel. Oh, on both outside hips. Try to have your hips square forward, shoulders square forward, which might mean that you have to spin your hips slightly to get into that neutral square position. Be here for one more breath. And then reset, coming back on your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes under, slide your hips up high into downward facing dog. Down dog, remember it's about letting the spine unfurl. So have your knees bent if you need to so you can really melt your chest towards your thighs and your lower back has that natural arch instead of being rounded from strength, from tight hamstrings. <laughs> Free your right foot, lift it up towards the sky, inhale. From your highest point, press your left heel even a little bit more into the ground. Then curl your right knee into your chest and step it right through between your hands. Drop that left knee down towards earth, come into a low lunge, sweep your arms up high, feel how you're sucking in the energy, your life force up into your fingertips. And then come with me into a twist, left fingertips go to the front, right fingertips go to the back, chest turns open to the right side. However, my legs are still scissoring back and forth. From here, find now either your lower back, your butt cheek, or your left hamstring with your right hand. Turn your left palm up and then lean back into it. And as you lean back, can you engage through the glutes a little more and thrust your hips even more forward. So you're creating this beautiful crescent shape from your left toes into your left fingertips. And your whole left frontal fascia chain oh, starts to open up. Spin your arms back down. Frame your right foot. Tuck your left toes under and step to the front of the yoga mat. Find your forward fold here. Letting everything hang and dangle. You can even hold the opposite arm if you want. Relax your neck. Feel full surrender, not just physically, but maybe also emotionally. Can you just let go of that tight grip and enjoy? Let your hands come back down towards the floor. Come into half lift. Inhale. Free your right foot and step it right through to the very end of the yoga mat. Wonderful, drop that right leg down. Sweep your arms back and around, come into a low lunge. Inhale, place your left hand inside of your left hip this time. Take another breath from the right knee up into your right fingertips to extend and then keep that length even then when you start to lean over towards the left side. Keep your left shoulder dropped away from your ear, with your bum firm. Over the left outside knee and ankle, come back. Frame your left leg and then just pull that left knee or that left foot all the way through and extend it out behind you. Right arm joins in. Find your core again. So now we activate. It's not always just about letting go, surrendering, um, stretching. It's also about activating. <laughs> Bring knee and elbow together underneath your belly button and cat stretch. Inhale to extend. Let's do that one more time. Bring knee and elbow together underneath your belly button and cat stretch. Come back out once more. Inhale. Core is still strong. Circle left leg open to the left side. Then step your left foot down in alignment with your right knee. Scoop that right arm up towards the sky. Take a breath. With an exhale out, thread that right arm underneath your left armpit all the way through, placing the right side of your ear down. If you want, walk that left fingertips a little further out in front of you, scooping the right side from underneath upwards. And take one more breath here, rinsing out your spine. Well done. Left hand goes back beside your face. Right hand goes underneath the right shoulder, pick that left leg up, circle it all the way around, bend your left knee and tuck it in on the outside of your right knee. Push your feet apart, try to hip, have your hips square as you press your bottom back, oh, snuggling in here. <sighs> the other knee now on top means that the hips might feel it a little differently, switched up. <sighs> Stay here for one more breath. And then reset. Coming back into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes of your bows under. Lift your hips up high. Left leg floats up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. From the highest point, curl your left knee into your chest. Move shoulders over your wrist. Step left foot through between your hands. Drop down onto your right knee. From strong glutes and a strong core, there's that suction from the bottom all the way up into your fingertips. Find your low lunge. And then come into your twist. Right fingertips to the front. Left fingertips to the back. Legs are still tracking back and forth. From here, find your lower back, your right butt cheek or your right hamstring. And then lean back. And as you lean back, can you push your hips and your knee even further forward? Feel how you're, you're puffing your heart up towards the sky. And then keep your core engaged. Don't leak the energy through your stomach. Feel how your right hip flexes getting it all. Wonderful. Well done. Spin your arms back down. Frame your left foot. Tuck your right toes under. Step to the front of the yoga mat. <sighs> Here we invite again, surrender and ease. 
So now it's time to let go of any effort, of any activation. Drop your hands back down to the floor, half lift in. Free your left foot and step it right through to the end. Drop your left knee down. Find your low lunge one last time. Inhale. Stay nice and long as the right hand goes back down into your right hip. Catching another breath. Inhale from the left knee up into your fingertips. And then without losing that length, lean over towards your right side. And breathing into the left side body like a full body yawn. Circle your arms back down. Frame your right foot. Pull right foot through. Right knee beside your left knee. Sit down over your heels, close your eyes, feel the after ripple, even though it was just a short practice. Feel how you set the right tone for your day and then spread this beautiful energy of yours. Thank you for joining. See you soon again. Namaste.